Well, remembering the past by paying it forward for most combat veterans, one of the hardest things to do is transition from the battlefield to home life. Yeah, that is the mission of our next veteran, Pat Lynch. He is a Vietnam veteran and a 2016 Sanderson Salutes honoree. He's also the founder of Operation Freedom Bird, and he is joined by Vietnam veteran Barry Wilson, who was a part of that healing journey. Great to have both of you Welcome. with us this morning. And Pat, you started Operation Freedom Bird for a very important reason. Tell us why. Well, in, uh, well, 50 years ago this year, I joined the Army. Uh, and uh, that fall I was in Vietnam and I was a crew chief for the 101st uh, Airborne in uh, northern uh, South Vietnam and I got shot down and I got to see what the uh, combat's all about yeah. with uh, the grunts and after I got out of the army that kind of stuck with me what our brave guys did uh, and saved me. Uh, so as time went on Veterans Day was just another day and uh, as uh, I trained uh, with my GI Bill to become a pilot, I got on with another a little airline called America West Airlines. We started flying into Washington, D.C., and the wall was there. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see it, and I decided I'd have to take some friends, some combat vets, to the wall with me. And I went to uh, then President Mike Conway of America West Airlines, and I said, well, let's take some vets to the wall on Veterans Day. And he said, okay, let's load up an airplane and go. So that started in 1988. Right, and it's wow. been going ever since. Yes. So 30. Barry, you've made that, that healing journey recently. How, how has that helped you in, in, in the healing process? Well, first of all, I gotta say, I was very reluctant when I was asked to go on this journey because I've been avoiding Washington, D.C., the wall. Mm -hmm anything that would fly me back to Vietnam. And uh, I met Pat, we were doing uh, some things at the VA together and he talked me into it because I just I had a great fear of going back to that wall. We got back there the first night we go to the wall and it was raining, but I felt nothing. I had my barriers up I figured that was going to happen because that's defense mechanism that's kind of built into us, sure. you know, as veterans that, that we're not going to let anything hurt us. Went back the next day and I started feeling something. Don't know what, just, okay, I'm here. I know a lot of names on that wall. I had contact with many, many names on the wall that I don't know that I had contact with. The crew chief, gunner on... Uh, helicopters in Vietnam and the Marine Corps and we did many medevacs. That was kind of the proud of my pride of my service. Then we went back to the wall on Veterans Day and we had the reef uh, lane for Operation Freedom Bird and Pat honorably chose me as one of the four to, to put the wreath at the wall. And after the ceremony, we just kind of milled around. I went back to the wall and then I lost it. Yeah. And those emotions are still so raw and we could sit here all day. I know. I'm, I'm, I, mean, I know. And I talk know. to you about this. I know this. that was hard for you to it share. It was. And, and I, I hate to cut it off, but we okay. just want to remind people <laughs> that this is a all donations that runs this. So if you would like to donate to Operation Freedom Bird's 2018 healing journey, uh, you can certainly do that at operationfreedombird.org. Uh, the next journey is this November.